Get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Blast ye scurvy dogs! Stand back! I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose, the wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. Are you wearing a fake beard? Bloodnose the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audiobooks on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Tell me about these seminars. The seminars really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, Yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate, deserving blame and censure. But that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, You lazy scum, get back to work or I'll beat you with your own legs. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on Parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots, one a month. Return as many as you like, keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver me timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. What's behind that door? Ooh! That's the door to LeChuck's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. LeChuck is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose now. And besides, even if you got up on deck, LeChuck would cut you to ribbons. What are LeChuck's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon, some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use it to blow down the walls of the fort so his crew can overrun the island. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Peep. Yes, scabrous swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. Try it, shrimpy. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Ah! 
there, there. One of those new self-loading cannons I've heard so much about. <laughs> hey! They're getting a little close there, pal! <laughs> Watch where you're shooting! <laughs> Are you sorry you old? Oops. That was me. Uh, sorry. Get that get us all killed again. Uh, sorry about that. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> Quite squeeze past this cannon. <laughs> it's a horrible skull. If I could just get my hands on that gunner, if I could just get my hands here. Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom, and the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? You know, you'd look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. I'm too petrified to say anything. <laughs> Why do you villains always laugh so much? I wasn't laughing about anything in particular. Somewhere there's a fish nibbling on my foot and it really tickles. You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. How can you see without eyeballs? How can you walk around without a brain? Some things no one can answer. I'm going now. Good. Now, leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> hey, that's my arm. Give that back. Ah, well, I guess I'll just have to look on the bright side of this. If I gave you your arm back, what would you do with it? I'd terrorize the South Seas. I'd torture the living. I'd demolish the... Um, what I meant to say was I'd use it to pet kittens. <laughs> nope. You blew it. Drat. 